Welcome to Hiroshima Port in Ujina. Man, this place all used to be water. I mean, back in the late 1800s it was, and in Japanese they call it umetatsuchi, but they, they put all this land across here. And if you look over there, you see all these things that look like warehouses, but really they're stores and shops and cafes. And this place is vibrant with people. Let's go check it out. You got people fishing, drinking your little cafe drinks, walking their dogs. This is a perfect place for a date or a hangout. And you can see over there in the background, we've got the Prince Hotel on Moto Ujina Island. Now, Moto Ujina is an extension of this Ujina area. And here we are at the Ujina Hatoba Park. And behind me is the Tower of Paradise. That's right, this tower was a huge part of Hiroshima culture when it was built in 1989. And it was built in commemoration of this port that had been built over a hundred years ago and for the future of Hiroshima. Before it was placed here near Hiroshima port, it was in the west side of Hiroshima for a huge expo. It was covering all things from around the world. The Sea and Islands World Expo, where people were coming from all over Japan, all over the world, and it was a big international event. The area of Ujina, its name originated from the Ujina Island. And that name, uh, a lot of people thought it came from Ushi no Shima, which Ushi means cow in Japanese because many people thought this looked like the shape of a cow. Now, after several name changes, it eventually became Ujina. And we can see here the Ujina Island that extends out, now called Moto Ujina, that we're going to check out here shortly. The Hiroshima Blue Live venue here is a popular place for many bands who want to make a name for themselves. Even big bands such as Wagaki, who have played here in Hiroshima, have made this such a popular place for the locals. All the restaurants and cafes out here have a little bit of an industrial vibe to it. For instance, here at Container 37-4, we've got Cafe Umi to Sora no Aida. How cute is that? Look at this place. That means in English, the cafe which is between the sea and the sky. Having a commercial port here for Hiroshima really opened up things for the locals. I mean, now they have access to all the islands around them, including Shikoku, which really made it quite easy for travel here in this area. Moto Ujina in 1950 was designated as a national park. Here you can enjoy nature watching, walking, or jogging on one of the many trails through the mountainous forest. You get a beautiful view of the ocean and can see the boats coming in and out of the Hiroshima port. If you're looking to travel the Seto Sea, your adventure begins at Hiroshima Port. This port has been around since 1884 and is the main point of departure for those looking to travel by sea out of Hiroshima. This port started to be constructed in 1894 by Hiroshima Governor Sada Aki Senda. Senda? Senda Machi? Hmm, Matsuyama, Miyajima, Enajima, where should I go? There are many things to view in the Seto Inland Sea, and I think by boat is the best way to explore it all. The Hiroshima Minato Park is a symbolic park as a gateway to the Sea of Hiroshima. It is also important to note that Minato Park serves as a disaster prevention center. It is a wide open area with plenty of space. It hosts events from time to time too, such as the Minato Festival, where you can enjoy live performances and great street food. It really is a recommendation from us to bring your family and your friends. 
you are feeling like living in a 10 minute drive from downtown by the sea, I think Ujina is the place for you. Our company offers multilingual real estate support, so feel free to hit us up in our email in the description if you happen to have a need for this. Thanks for watching.